Hi, I'm Ricky Schroeder, and I'll be right back with One to Grow On. Hey, Squeak, check out the new girl. You mean the attractive, red-haired girl with a great voice and killer personality? Yeah, that's one. Let's get Let's her. Let's get her. Wait, what did I do to you? I'm threatened by your popularity. I'm just sad, really, about who I am as a person. I take it out on innocent people because I really hate myself. Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. You know something? I think you're right. Come on, Jesse. You are a part of the popular crew now. Come eat lunch at the cool tea cap table. Nachos are like catnip to me. Wait, hold on, guys, because you still don't get it. In reality, there's no such thing as a popular crew and a nerd crew. People that consider themselves to be popular are really just followers. Nerds may be people who are smart or just don't want to be fake popular. People shouldn't put labels on other people because of who they are. I will eat lunch with you, but how about we call the friends table? That works for me. I am so tired. I hope I can make it through lunch. Same. I am so low energy after I drank two Red Bulls this morning. <laughs> guys, 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 you have so much to learn. Red Bull is loaded with sugar and preservatives. Have I ever told you about the Celsius energy drink? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Christian Western Chandler, but my friends call me Chris Chan. Here at The Most Worst, we don't tolerate bullies. <laughs> Here at the most worst, we don't tolerate bullies or bully comments. And that's one to grow on. Who are you kidding? Hi, I am Lone Identity. I eat my dinner early and took a nap. I want the blues, crap, macaroni and cheese. The blue box blues. I love it. I drank my Celsius. Now I am full of energy. Now let's start the show. What's going on, everyone? Happy Mo Negro's Monday. <laughs> Hey dudes and dudettes, this is your this is Perry Caravello, professional skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, comedian, rock enthusiast, star of the cult classic film Windy City Heat, and the king of Fright Night Comedy. And now, here's your boy, and my favorite black guy, Wes Most. Yeah, so guys, welcome, welcome to the stream. Um Happy happy Monday. Dealing dealing with some snow here in the Pacific Northwest. It was actually it was actually snowed in for uh, for for some of last week. But uh, welcome to the stream, Sloth Cat. How how you doing today? Doing pretty good, pretty good. Whoa whoa, calm down the energy. You're coming in at about an eight. Um, oh, I need to take it up a notch. Or... No, I'll take it take it back a notch. That was I'll uh, take it. Okay, okay. That, was, uh, that was Nuggies level of aggressiveness. I don't so, mean to be aggressive. That's that's, <laughs> not, <laughs> that's, not, that's not how we do things here on Mo Negroes. That's more of a that's more of a, a nuggish, a little evil McNuggets thing. So um yeah, this is the this is the last the last Mo Negroes of uh black of black history. I almost called it Black Friday of Black History <laughs> Month. <laughs> black History Month. <laughs> and uh so there's no better way to close this out than of course we are gonna close that with uh with the Democracy Manifest. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? <laughs> because I fucking love that video. Um, Slothcat, can you go through and say hi to everyone so that we can get get going on our on our Casey catch up? 
Sure thing. Here we go. DCOM versus the Dark. DSP Historical Society. I like the inflection you're putting on it this week. <laughs> <laughs> I like the inflection this week. <laughs> Below Sage. What? Balloon Wait, what? Fa- Below Sage? That's not what that says. Balloon. Balloon. Said balloon. Sage. It's Balloon. Yeah, it's Balloon. You said Balloon. Balloon. Yeah, but it's Balloon. B A L L. There's no two O's. No, look. You're not going to point out how I say things weird, okay? <laughs> no, I'm, just weird. I'm just saying you said balloon, <laughs> balloon sage. We already had a conversation. This is Nuggie's fault, okay? This is Nuggie's fault. This is not my fault. Can you put a one in the chat if this man said balloon sage? <laughs> Someone just please put a one in the chat if you guys heard balloon sage. Please. All right, please. All right, continue on, um, Sloth Cat. A long fast fuse. <laughs> Amberg Mandigo. Eric. Pussy Destroyer. La Senorita. Cyber Squeak. Long, I mean, online lobster. <laughs> 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 Look now, you making me mess up, okay? <laughs> okay. Polymorph. Polymorph. <laughs> Polymorphographical purebred. <laughs> yeah, that 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 right there. Uh, Chupa Grandsa, Evil Little Big Nuggets, Medium Syllables, Pam Simpson, Mandy S, Rose Scholar, Cosantin, mm-hmm. Blackie Center. That Blackie Center. That's that still sounds... Spanish. That sounds racist. Somehow. It does. Sound, it does sound like a racism, <laughs> but it's it's a uh, it's black it's Black Friday month, so we'll just charge them. That's one racism out of five. Red Red C. Dale, Doctor Cunt, radical. Oh no! Online lobsters here. Please don't boil me. <laughs> online lobster. Online lobster is in the chat. We, we had Randy Moss not long ago. Now we have online lobster. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Dante. Below, below uh, Sage. <laughs> <laughs> what does that chat below these say? <laughs> Tickle P. Shivers. Voice the voice. Kit Cat Meow. Uh, who's Brittany? CNJ Dev. Drive 137. Side face 09 Bitter Almonds Unveiling the Mask Ashberry Brad WB Slash Lauren Anderson Kylie Slime Bucket Witch Lady uh, Aaron E 80s Girl the Duchess of Cornville. The Randy Boss is still here. And Magic AIDS Johnson. Now, I think that might be a bully name. Um, that damn doctor. Magic AIDS Johnson is possibly a bully name. Magic AIDS. That's that's most definitely. Yeah, is that, a, is that a bully? All right, well, hold on. Salty Robot. Brandon M. Mikey Blake. Charlie Parker. Can't be this many people. It feels like you've been reading for twenty minutes. I, I, I feel like it is. You're, about, just uh, making, you're just making people <laughs> up now. SpongeBob in a nightgown. <laughs> Gorilla Spa. Uh, what, about Aaron, what about Aaron W. Kaylee? Um, uh, there's a Kit Kat Meow Crispy Treat. I'm not saying, Tommy I said that's M, name. You, Time you Machine. Listening. Duchess, who's part of the replay crew, uh, voice to voice, CNJ Dev, you can have the blacklist for the bully comments. Now, that might actually be a bully comment. That might actually be a bully comment, too. But we also got a donation earlier from Evil Little McNuggets, who said, Keep talking shit a bit, a bit, a bit. Keep talking shit a bit, me, and ill tell my mom on you. Um, See, exactly right there. You see it right there as the proof. 
it, it, a bit. Well, I mean, I'm I'm just saying, like, this is the proof that that Nuggies learned to read from from Queen of Spades. That's all the proof I see here. Try again, Nuggies. But thank you so much for the donation. I'll, but I don't understand what you're saying. I hope your mom isn't ill. I hope she's feeling. Uh, I hope she's feeling better. I hope she's feeling good enough to make uh, the pizza rolls for your for your din din. I know how you are when you don't get your pizza rolls. And then CNJ Dev said you can have the blacklist for the bully comments, and I think that might actually be a backhanded bully comment. Yeah, uh, the Lord, the Lord Ultimatum, the TLI stream is on uh, is on Thursday with with the Great Babsby. This is uh, this is Sloth Cat. He's like a well, he's a slightly blacker because what TLI did prove two percent Nigerian, two <laughs> percent Nigerian. <laughs> so he's, TLI is currently working out with uh, working it out with legal to be included in Mo Negroes due to his two percent Nigerian ancestry. But uh, but but Sloth Cat for now, a uh, Sloth Cat is maintaining that velvet throne. Um, I won't cancel nuggets for dyslexia, but a bit, keep talking shit, a bit, a bit. Uh, so, uh, sloth cat, was that everyone? That damn doctor and upgraded. Do we, do we get DSP historical society? Never would have guessed sloth is a black man. Well, I mean, his name is, his name is sloth. He's, and he talks like a snoop, a snoop a dog. How could you not, how could you not have guessed that he's a, um, that he's a black man? And obviously we're, we're related according to, to Queen of Spade. And then Kim S is here. Kim S, uh, the number one, the number one bully, uh, the realest bully, and then a guru who is my lead moderator. And guys, I got to do it. I'm sorry, I got to do it because Guru has stepped in. And thank you, uh, thank you, Nuggies and CNJ Dev for their donations and DSP Historical Society. Thank you so much. But guys, I'm afraid I got to do it. I got to get, I got to get Guru hyped up to do a very, very important job tonight before we get on with our, uh, before we move on to our. To our Casey catch up, Guru, please pay attention. Mike, no. Mike, Clitorius, Clitorius, who wants to be a moderator? Mike, Mike, Clitorius, Clitorius. I'm not gonna back down, and I'm gonna stay no matter what. I have the right to be here too, and I'm not defending Jesse. Are you gonna ban that guy? He's not doing what I asked him. I'm asking him to ban Mike Lodius. Mike, Mike, Clitorius, Clitorius. Because if you don't ban that guy right now, man, like you're not, I'm not here for you, man. I wonder who wants a wrench? Who wants a wrench? I'm just saying, just let me be, let me do my own thing, all right? You already, you're, you, Wes, you already have two channels, man. You know what I mean? You don't own YouTube, man. So yeah, that's uh, that was guys. That was just for Guru. I hope no one else was bobbing heads or enjoying that. That was just for Guru. Everyone else, I probably should have told everyone else to ear most first. So that one was on me. That the first one was on me. Uh, so so sloth. Or is that everyone? Are we ready to get started? Yeah, that's 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 everyone. I think. I mean, well, let's see what let's see what TL I think. I love it. Teal, I loves it, so I guess we're good to go. Uh, so we're going to start off with um, the, I think this is a, the, it's the Lauren Reality Show. It was a three-minute clip right before episode 67. And, of course, uh, these are linked, these are linked in the, are the, their channels linked in the description? I can't remember if I linked all the calls. Uh, but they will be in the description by the time the stream is over. How's that for a fire? That's just the beginning of it. Yeah, the other one started over there, but it's not going good yet. See that little puff of smoke over there? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to show you like this. That way I can stand up against it. So you can see how high it is. <laughs> yeah, right there. The fuck is that? There, there's the top of it. Top of what? Now you walk all around here. Wait, is that what's left of the trailer? Is that what, is that what he's showing us? What the fuck is he showing us? Showing you a bunch of bullshit, man. I mean, is this a pile of shit he's about to burn or that he's salvaged from someone else's burn? What is he showing me right now? And why would Casey be impressed by this? Why did he cut did he cut all that down? That's like at his house? I've no I've no I have no clue. There's I mean I, there's no context, but even with context it wouldn't make any sense. You know that. Oh around this way.
You see the top of that right there where my top of my finger is? That's the top of it. <laughs> that that is so good. I love how it just cuts. I love how it just cuts. Reach in right now, get the couch. <laughs> reach in and get the couch. Just push the couch, the couch, couch, the couch oh, yeah. out. How lazy is that? <laughs> Yeah. That looked like when those people get too big to actually physically leave their homes and they have to like break a hole in the wall to get them out. Yeah, exactly. Well, that wasn't necessary, but just push that couch out the big ass hey. hole that you just put in the wall. <laughs> it's not a transformer. It doesn't work like that. Uh, he's too he's too lazy to do that. Like, it yeah, takes he's, too he's, much. Like he rather hold the phone and record them trying to pull it out. <laughs> Can you see the grass? See how short it is now? See those clumps of grass? I've been doing a lot of crap, so I haven't been able to come out and cut it for a few days. But you see where I kicked off my boots on the steps? Okay, right. There's the windows. That's the well. That's the dog shed. That's obviously the trailer. But that's the well right there. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little aerial view. I'm standing on top of my top of my old pickup, but you can see there's the chicken owls, there's the metal shed. Hey, so DSP Historical Society said that was his uh that was his for their first time hearing your your voice, and the first time I heard your voice was uh was that first Mo Negro stream. I was also surprised by it. Um, why are you surprised? I'm not understanding. I expected you to sound smarter. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess that's what really surprised me. Is you just sound way dumber. Like you are a lot dumber than I expected you to be. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of a surprise. No offense. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I didn't put on my Neil deGrasse Tyson voice. <laughs> uh, and then voice to voice said, "TLI is the Owen Hart of the Mo Negro's Nation." You are absolutely right. TL TLI is the Owen Hart of the the Mo Negro Nation of Domination. That is that is TLI. <laughs> he he loves it. He, he loves it. He's wearing a bunch of caution tape on himself. <laughs> There's a portable shed, truck and trailer driveways out there. There's a trailer, mm -hmm. and so the trailer would be gone. The dog shed would be gone, and the house would actually the fur the further side of the house would be over that way and then this side of the house would be over this way more so and I'd have to cut more trees down right in, in here but this would all be lawn back here so and that's that's all stuff that I've got cut down now but that stuff there that Norman has to take in so far see all that wood that is cut right there yeah. See all that wood that is stacked right there? And there's more over there. It's actually and thank you, voice to voice. Be a long pile of it over there. There you go. Oh, I, I was just think that was just like a like a a place where people dump their junk at. That's what and it is. Like all past that. That's not a livable place. No, because you're just looking at it now. You're not looking at the bigger picture. You're just you're one of those people. You just look at a big plastic bag of Beanie Babies. I look at a million dollar investment. And that's why you're always going to stay where you are. And I'm going to be living at Lakefront Property uh, at Lake Cornville with uh, with Lauren. Good luck with that. Like, I don't need luck. I don't I don't need luck when I have I don't ha I don't need luck when I have a plastic bag full of Beanie Babies. Did you not hear that part? <laughs> Are you, again, proving oh, yeah, how stupid you're going to be rich with those. Like I said, I bags. thought you'd be smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? No, I'm great. So how was work today? Work was excellent. Yeah. So what was up with yesterday? 
about what? Well, you know about what? Why would you just leave me hanging? Um, punk, punk pansy. Thank you for the donation. Basketball and a bacon. That's good, right? Take my last two dollars for all the lols. Um, thank you, thank you so much, punk pansy. And you're welcome uh, for the for the. And I think that was all specifically towards me, not any towards you, Fuck that. You know I mean, what I mean? If it's, you want to take, if you if you want to take it, you know, you can, you know. It, I mean, it just, didn't, I it I just didn't specify. You weren't specified in it, so I'm assuming it was just directed towards me. So you're very welcome on behalf of myself. Punk <laughs> Say fuck me and go off with the motherfucking people all night long. Um, it was right after work. Did I say fuck you? Yeah. Pretty much. What are you talking about? I texted you, I called you, got nothing. But the people yeah, who you work with got everything. People. Huh? What? The people you work with got everything, though. Yeah. Yeah. What's your problem? Problem is, you, you basically said, fuck you, Lauren. I'm going to fucking get drunk with these people that I'm working with. Oh, how dare I? With, with the guy that I'm doing sex scenes with. <laughs> Yeah, so what? Yeah, so how does that really look? Why is that your problem? Huh? Why is that your problem? Why is it my problem? Because we're trying to work on, on being together. Yeah, well, you're taking a step backwards by acting like a little bitch. Well, do you think you're taking a step forward by going out all night with the, with the guy? I mean, if you were working on a relationship towards with someone and this was how you behaved when they went out not for she didn't go out for for her friends if casey went out she went out for herself because she wanted to go out blossom whatever the case may be even if they encouraged her to do so casey went out for casey and so if lauren was to behave this way that that'd be it that'd be the end of the relationship because lauren is proving that he's a very jealous person you're a person that you're doing Love making scenes with it's a movie. Casey's an actor. No, no, not love making scenes. She went out with sex boy. Okay. Okay. I guess that's a when sex I, boy. They're not even love making. That's he's just he's just fucking. They're not. It's not love making. It's just straight fucking. Yeah. And there's she a said, difference. And she said, "Fuck you, Lauren." That's, that's what she said. said. Yeah. Well, so fuck you. I'm gonna hang out with fuck boy. Is right. Exactly. Really. So fuck fuck. It's like poetry when you say it like that. And you doing sex scenes with? I don't care. Oh, hold on. And and sprinkle cake with the with the donation. Sprinkle cake says, "Oh, you'll have to read this one. This one's for you." Trailers for sale. <laughs> <laughs> In your honor, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> well, maybe you should. Thank you, sprinkle cake. I went cake. to work. They wanted to go out, so I did. I don't have they to kidnap anything to you. They kidnapped you. That's what, that's what you said. They kidnapped you. Yeah. They they turned your phone off. No, I had my phone in my pocket. She just ignored me. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I was out. So it was hard to send me a text? I didn't know you were texting. And then I got drunk, and then I went came home and fell asleep. Did you drive home? No. Sex boy took her home. Good. How'd you get home? An Uber. <laughs> no. No. Sometimes it's. I don't trust Ubers anyway. Heard stories of Ubers. Ubers. No, I don't. Why? They've had stories on the news about some Uber drivers. I mean, I know it's been said before, but Lauren hyper focuses on sexual related crimes to women, young women. Yeah, all the time. That and, and, and guys. The, well, the, it, the Uber could have a guy driver. So. Well, and well, that's his that's his concern, and I and I think though it's like he puts himself in the place of, well, if, if he was an Uber driver, would he take advantage of a of a drunk woman if if he could? Absolutely. So he thinks he puts himself 
in the position of those men who are doing those crimes. And I still believe that Lorne, Lorne is upset that he got as much time and as many punishments as he did versus some of the people who are in his class who had, in you know, quote unquote, actual physical victims. And he never even, you know, he never got to do it. So I think Lorne get, has like some, not, not jealousy, but he has some anger that there are other men out there doing that. So he, yeah, he, I think he puts himself in those positions and thinks about what he would do if he were there. And then he gets upset about it. You know, like it's like it's their fault that he's a pervert with these with these things that he's into on you know these things that he these desires like for the child on the news. I don't know. Right. It's, it's, a lot, a lot it's of projects fault for putting it out there. You know, they shouldn't even be putting it out there for him to even see or have an opportunity. Um DSP Historical Society with the donation said sloth, please say, Hey baby, can I buy you a fish sandwich? <laughs> okay. Hey baby, can I buy you a fish sandwich? That was pretty sexy. <laughs> that <used to> be, <laughs> if there was saxophone music behind it. Hey baby, can I buy you a fish sandwich? Tell me you would say no to that. Woman in the chat, woman in the chat, press one if I walked up to you outside of any Fud Ruckers or Denny's style restaurant, like eight ninety nine and under a plate, because I'm not trying to break the bank. And I was like, hey girl, what would it? Can I buy you a fish sandwich? With ones in the chat, if you'd be like, yeah, I would like a fish sandwich. And a lemonade, as long as, again, under eight ninety nine. Let me buy you a fish Doing sandwich. <laughs> under eight ninety nine, though. Yeah. Well, my Uber driver didn't write me. He just took me home. Well, thanks, please. For that. This time. I'm sorry for seeming like an asshole. Like, you are being an asshole. Upset about what? Upset huh? Upset about what? Well, you, well, you going on and just completely for, forgetting about me. Why do I owe you anything, though? Like, what do you mean forgetting about you? Like, forgetting about me completely. More likely you knew that I was here and expecting that I was going to be talking to you. Right? I don't, we don't talk every day. Yeah, we do. We have been. Then you're talking shit about my job. Well, I'm pissed off about it. <laughs> I, I did everything I could. I was trying so hard to not think about it, and and you you put it in my mind, and it it, it bothers me. I don't want to talk shit about your job. It, it bothers me. I want to try to keep it to myself. When you, yesterday, it was like you sit on my phone while I'm out with my friends and coworkers. And really, you have no right to be pissed at all. Huh? I'm not going to sit on my phone while I'm out drinking with my friends and my coworkers. I didn't and you have no right to be pissed at all. The, that's not what I expected. What I expected was for you to at least send me a message and let me know. I would have been fine. Why would you have any such expectations of a person where that's not the expectation where you talk every day and then you're also not in a relationship? My least favorite thing about about having a phone is the fact that people, just because they can send instant communication, they expect instant communication back. And it and it's so weird because, I mean, you know, you had it back in the day when you'd send an email and you'd expect an answer in you know maybe a few hours, but now because you could send a text and that shit goes out right then, and I know you have your phone on you, I don't expect people to reply back to me, and I hate when people expect that shit from me. It's irritating. I don't want an electronic leash on me. And a lot of people feel that way. Well, you need to answer people when they, you know, <laughs> call and text you, Wes. I'm, I'm sorry. You you got to answer. I'm, I'm, and I just want to say, I'm seeing a lot of ones. I'm seeing a lot of ones uh, in the chat. So me walking up. And I did I mention I have on overalls? I have on overalls. I'm wearing o denim overalls. And uh, a top hat. And a fanny pack. A denim fanny pack. 
and some Timberlands. And I'm like, hey, hey, girl, what with it? Can I buy you a fish sandwich? But then we get inside and guess who forgot their wallet conveniently? Oops. Girl, let me get you back. You know, I get paid on Friday. But guess Lock what? Down. I ain't got no job. I'm going to get you back on Friday, you know? I'm going to get you back on Friday. Girl, as soon as I get back on my feet, I'm going to get you back. You know what I'm saying? I love Long John Silver's. And the next thing I know, I got a, I got two fish and fries. Hush puppies. Mm. That, that scene yeah, I'm going to need to go home. I tried so hard keeping it out of my head. I'd rather you... I got a question. Can, can I get a ride home? You, you not tell me about what's going on there on this show. You asked me yesterday. I told you I was going to be filming the make-out scenes. Uh, I know. I didn't ask you what, what you're going to be doing that day. You, had, you, told me, uh, you told me you remember we talked about the night before. Uh, I remembered, and I was trying to keep it out of my head. You think I'm actually having sex with him while I'm filming scenes? No, you told me that you're not. It's just... Uh, it's Why would she have to me, tell him? That? Me about it. <laughs> They're not making that type of movie. What is? <laughs> well, that's on you. That's not my problem. No, I no, I'd, I'd just rather you not tell me about what's going on on this show because it, it, it bothers me. So if I if I don't know about what's going on every day, then I won't be thinking about it. I, I I love knowing about what you're doing with shows, but this this one has just got me. Uh, <laughs> bothers me. That's what acting is. I know, but it's it it, it just it bothers me. Well, I'm not your girlfriend, so why do you care? Well, because I want you to be. You bimbo. I tried to get you to be already, but you're holding, you're holding it back. Oh, yeah, after this, this morning. Well, uh, I definitely I want to be up right now. Um, I was upset. What do you want me to do? I mean, I show me. You're upset. Well, you're just, adult. Well, I'm trying to be with the. Things like the show that you're doing right now, that they're upsetting to me. Again, I don't know why it's your problem. Stop acting like a baby. Start acting, stop acting like a baby. So I should be fine with them seeing you naked and shit. <laughs> I don't care if you're fine or not. No, thanks. Why would I? I've known you for two months. Oh, no, I'm no, no, gonna, no, like, no. I'm going to, like, put roles around what you're comfortable with. Warren? He's thinking. He's going to come up with something good. Come on, Lauren. Blow her away. Sorry, just because it would be nice if you cared how comfortable I was with stuff. What? You're mumbling. I said, it sucks that you don't care, because it would be nice if you did care from how comfortable I was. What does he want her to do? <laughs> does he really expect her to either, one, quit the movie, or two, tell them, hey, I know that this, this scene is, is a part of the movie, but um, my pedophile boyfriend, who I met while he was arrested on his, 30, on his 37th birthday, he is not comfortable with me having a scene with sex boys. So how about we just uh, how about we we just skip this part? Don't even use a body double because I don't want Lauren to think that it was. It shouldn't even be anyone that looks like me. So let's just let's just scrap it all together, and they're gonna be like, yeah, okay, Casey, no problem. Now see what he wants is them to take that scene out, and also not tell him nothing that's going on in the movie. Period. Okay. But also tell him what's going on, just in case she's doing a sex scene. So you know. tell them what's going on, but don't tell them what's going on if it's anything that's going to make them upset. But exactly. if it's anything that's going to make them upset, don't do the shit in the first place so there's nothing to tell them. 
long story short, just stop doing the movie. Get out there to Cornville. Okay, I got it. Long story short, hook up with Stephen King out there. Yeah. <laughs> she wasting her time right now. His brother once delivered water to Stephen King's house. You guys, I mean, basically, basically, she's in the next movie. She's in Carrie Part Three, uh, starring Casey Morrow. That's going to be a good one. You know, she got Stephen King, The Mall, and very few black and Mexican people. I mean, I'm sold. So I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to move now. I'm hearing about your stuff. Okay, you're uncomfortable. What, what do you want me to do? I just ask you, just, just please don't talk to me about the show any, anymore. Well, don't unless ask me that. Unless it seems that you're not they're not having you getting naked and shit. Yeah. Good lord. Don't well, forget to give your sex boy an extra fucking kiss for good measure, too. Well, what do you expect, Casey? God, you're such a child. Well, I, it, it pissed me off. <laughs> like, fuck, I figured you'd... That's all you want. You seem like a little insecure bitch. It's really unexpected. Oh, what do you want me to do, Casey? <laughs> Good question. Say that I'm great about these, yeah, these people kidnapping you, and then you don't <laughs> say anything to me when we talk every day. They didn't, like, really kidnap me. I meant, like, they're like, we're going to a bar, you're going. And I went because I wanted to have fun. I had a long day of work. And I can't believe what? I even need to explain that to you. Considering we're just friends right now, I don't owe you any explanation. I would have been fine if you would have just sent me a text. I'd like to know why you would let these people play such a role in your decisions to just throw my ass to the curb and not give a shit about any way that I would feel about what's going on with this fucked up sex show you have going on. It's not a sex show. That's what it seems. That's what, that's what it, it sounds like. like. Those are my scenes. Exactly what it sounds it's, like. It sounds like it. <laughs> if you let Lauren tell a story, he, this story consists of her being kidnapped. Yeah. Okay. And probably having sex with Sex Boy. It's not even a probably at this point. It's not even a probably. If he, if he would tell this to somebody else, it would just be she was kidnapped, had sex with Sex Boy. Well, and not and, and what happened? Let me tell you exactly what happened. They went out. Okay, she didn't. First of all, she didn't want to go. He took her keys, made her go, put her job on the line, said something like, "You'll never work again." Uh, also threatened to call Lawrence probation and ruin that for them, so they couldn't be together. Uh, made her go out, plot her with alcohol, made her inhibitions melt away to nothing, and then they had they didn't even make sweet love. They fucked on the beach. And the whole time, she enjoyed it, but she was also thinking about Lauren and how fucked up this was. So, you know, and, and, she, and she did, but she didn't think about texting one time. So that's a whole lot of things that went on that night. And the whole time, Lauren was sitting there building this all up in his head, upset that this person that he's not with, who has no obligation to him whatsoever, was not thinking about him and returning his messages because she just wanted to enjoy her night. And bang, fuck boy. And also, like DSP said, she took an Uber home and then got assaulted by the Uber driver. As far as, as I mean, Casey might not even remember. Casey might have been too drunk to remember. And how where was she know? How was she, how, how how would she, she know? know? And Lauren wasn't there to protect her. And where was Fuckboy? Well, Fuckboy had already gotten what he wanted. Fuckboy was at home in bed under an electric blanket like a bitch. And this is all your fault, Casey. This is all. And this is what you did. See what you, did? you did this to us. <laughs> you you think you did it to us. you. You think you did it to you, but you did this to us. You should be I know really embarrassed. Huh? You should be really embarrassed. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why should I be embarrassed? By the way, because you behave, about... you're not embarrassed? Well, because, uh, because I'm upset like about all fucking fun to pass up. Enjoy your day. All your passive aggressive little bitch messages. So I should be embarrassed because I'm up said about all the, the sex scenes. 
Absolutely, you should be embarrassed. What's up, Jeff Gorbachuk? Embarrassed by being pissed off about it. You should be ashamed. Well, it seems like that's all they have you doing. Someone you've known for two months who's not your girlfriend because they're doing their job. Um, seems like that's all they have you do. It is all they have me do. It's the role I signed up for. No, I'm sorry that I have a hard time with them. He's no wonder Danny broke up with you. Oh. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't handle me filming fake really? sex scenes. I can imagine what she went through. Oh, I didn't, I didn't expect that. Listen, I expected Jamie to be in porn. Uh, that's all Jamie ever was. But, Casey, I didn't expect you to make a backslide from the 19-year-old who played a child to lure me in to get arrested into doing hardcore pornography. And this right now is the gate, you're doing gate the gateway sex scenes. Because guess what, Casey? Two years from now, who who's gonna say that you're not knocking on the door of, of Vivid or or the, the bang bus fellas and asking them if you can't take a ride and get a pounding for a hundred dollars because you need a fix. That's how it starts, Casey. This man is trying to protect you. I, I never thought this would be you, Casey. I thought the you were Casey, better than I know. The Casey I know <laughs> would never done this, you know. The Casey I know, who I thought had blonde hair, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the path she would have took. Well, you, you know, changed. maybe maybe that's just it, Casey. Maybe I don't know you at all. And maybe I don't want to. This pedo gotta go. And then he hangs up. Then he calls her back like ten minutes later. But like he hung up that one time. Uh, I think I don't think that. I'm starting to think that you just may just be the third incarnation of Casey. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> the third incarnation of Casey. This something's not right here. No, 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 Lauren. Yeah, well, um, I, I don't think Lauren ever doubted for a second that this was actually Casey. Right? <sighs> this guy, he's just dumb. I mean, but that's why it's great that he falls for all these scams. And, and, when we do, because I want to do on, on the next Monegros, I actually want to do the call that Reborn did last night. They talk about Lauren's websites because I'm very familiar with the scam that Lauren bought into. Like, I know how it works and, and why he failed. I mean, there are people making a ton of money doing what Lauren was trying to do, but you have to spend a lot of money in order to build your email list and shit. But like, I, this, this scam will be a lot of fun to talk about. But Lauren is the perfect, Lauren is the perfect mark. And when you do get caught up in one of these scams, you get on a sucker list. And then you just get, you're going to get contacted by it because you're a buyer. You're a sucker. That lead is, is very valuable. Lauren's going to be getting pitches for a very long time from some very persuasive people. So uh, that won't be the last time Lauren gets caught up in some website or online business or work from home stuff and envelopes bullshit scheme. Wanting roles like that either. You don't know me. What do you mean you don't expect that? I didn't expect for sex roles to come up. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't, I, I didn't expect, Why didn't you expect that? I wasn't, pre I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't prepared for it. You weren't ready. You don't have to be. You're not my boyfriend. Well, no shit, but I've, I've tried to be. Give <laughs> <laughs> me a minute to, to be able to get used to Jamie doing porn. It was hard for me, for me because... It's, Jesus, I'm not even your girlfriend. I can only imagine what it'd be like if I was. If these are the texts I'm getting when I don't owe you anything. None of my other friends text me messages. How come you're not calling me? How come you're not texting me? Jesus Christ, I'm an adult. You're an adult. You live on the other side of the country. For now. And like I said many times already, I barely know you. You barely know me. You don't expect me to take roles like that? You don't know me. Oof. What if I want to take roles like that all the time? What if I'm only looking for roles like that? It's none of your business. 
and you're making it sound like I went to the bar with just the guy I was filming with. The whole crew was there. And you're acting like he's forcing drinks down my mouth so I have sex with him. Well, confirmed. And if I wanted to have sex with him, I can. <gasps> Casey. Yeah, Casey, you're saying all the wrong things. You're saying... You're saying all the things that are going to end your relationship. If, if that's the goal, keep on doing what you're doing. But but right now, these are all negative things. Uh, <laughs> these are all these are all negative because Lauren doesn't want to think about you having sex with with, with sex boy. That's not he's what he wants to, to do. He's trying to be your boyfriend. He's trying to. He's, he's, he's working on it. He's working on it. He's working towards the relationship. This is just level one. You mm -hmm. know, wait and, till you get to level two. But she's but she's not even she's not even being patient, and I think that's Casey's issues. Casey's impatient. Uh, and Lucas Collins with the donation. Lucas said, "I have an AirPod in when I'm delivering to customers. Little do they know I'm listening to Wes and giggling on the inside." Thanks, homie. And Lucas Collins, I don't know if you want me to, but Lucas Collins does uh, erotic massage, erotic Christian massage. Excuse me. Um, and I won't say what state, um, but it's Ohio. And uh, Lucas, yeah. So Lucas is out delivering. Uh, delivering a 30 minute, 30 minute guaranteed erotic massage to customers all over Ohio. And I think it's great that you're listening to these streams while doing it. So if anyone is in uh, Ohio, Lucas, if you want to drop your, your URL, your website, please, please do. And thank you so much for the donation. Slothcat, did you have anything that you wanted to say to, uh, to Lucas? Um, I find it kind of, you know, messed up that he say he's only giggling to Wes. <laughs> he didn't mention me and that. So why do I need to say anything to that? That that was. I just want to say that I thought Lucas was. Uh, I thought you were better than that. I didn't think that you would take those kind of roles where you're out giving massages. Uh, I didn't think you were like that. It took me a while to get used to Cornville Three Way doing that. Uh, but I thought I thought that you were different. So maybe next time I will put on my Chris Rock voice. And maybe oh, we'll that'll get... <laughs> let's do that one. Again. Let's <laughs> save that one for the next for the next call for sixty eight. Well, if you did, I wouldn't be sticking around. I don't give a shit. I'm just telling you, I can do whatever I want right now because I'm a single lady. <laughs> Guaranteed erotic. <laughs> I'm sorry for being an asshole today. Rather. Very sorry about it. Sorry that it bothers me. I have to be sorry that it bothers you. Just shut the fuck up about it. I'm Lucas. Are you ready to bust? I tried to. <laughs> I tried to yesterday. Well, you failed. Well, I failed today because I was a... I was... Your little baby feelings got hurt. You understand why I'm mad, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, you sound like you're like obsessive. You're like controlling me. No, I'm trying not to dictate trying to what the roles I take. That's what it sounds like. Well, it's not what I'm trying to do. Well, that's what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do. No, I'm sorry. That's not. The that's not. You're what not my... trying to do it. And you're still doing it, it makes it even worse. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the that's the issue. When you're when you're saying, "Well, I'm not even." If Lauren could say, "Like, yeah, you know what? I'm really insecure, and and it makes me jealous, and it makes me worry," then that's something that you can have a conversation about, and it shows that he's aware of of some of his shortcomings. And if you're aware of it, then that means you can work on it. But when he says, "I'm not even aware that I'm doing it. I'm not aware that I'm behaving like a child and and jealous, and then I'm lashing out at you." And if this was a real relationship, I would have ruined it a hundred times. That's a fucking problem. That's a problem. That's why you need therapy. Therapy? Yeah. For the children. Okay. <laughs> Leave them children alone. That's not my end goal. The children have to be protected. <laughs> well, like I said, times. I don't give a fuck. If you want to stick around, go for it. If you don't, don't. I don't really care. Uh, I do want to stick around, and I do want you for my girlfriend. Well, then act like a grown man. Well, can you please just send me a text letting me know when you're going to go out like that? No, bitch. No. If I want to text you, I'll text you. If I don't, then I won't. 
as right now, I'm not your girlfriend. We're not like in a relationship or anything. If anything, we're moving backwards after your little tantrum. Because I'm telling you now, this is not going to be the only or the last time I take a role where I have to kiss a guy or pretend to have sex with him or someone's going to see my boobs. I'm not saying every role is going to be that way, but, but it's going to be that way sometimes. <coughs> um, thank you, uh, Stumble, Repent, Repeat. Yeah, the name of Lucas's erotic, it's called the Luminati. That's the name of, uh, if you want a, if you want a massage done right, uh, and I, what's the, what is it guaranteed to make you bust or something? I don't know, Lucas, if you can put your, if your tagline, thank you so much, but thank you, Stumble, Repent, Repeat for that. I can understand Luminati. that way. The Luminati, it's a must that you and bust. Because that's the way I want it. If I want to take a role, I'm going to do it because it's my career. <clears throat> I understand that. I do. And that's why I had, that's why I had to make myself get used to what Jamie does. And I don't want to get in the way of your career. That's why I'm... You're not going to. I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah. If you're uncomfortable with the role I'm taking, then you can leave. I don't want to get in the way of your career. You're not going to. That's why I said that I would turn my life around and move out there. How do you turn this life around? <laughs> at this point, <laughs> at this point, where are you going with it? It's this not is even like enough. this is like your car. Your car fell off a cliff, right? You were driving. You were obviously drunk and high on marijuana. Uh, you were reeking a step up, and you were wearing an Adidas tracksuit. I'm just painting the picture for you. You're in your uh, your Lincoln Town car, and uh, you drive off a cliff, and you're falling off the cliff, and you go, "Oh shit." Up the emergency brake. Come on, Lord. Like, I can I can turn you. This, you you're, it's not going to do nothing for you, Lord. You're hitting the emergency brakes. You already done fall. You already done fall off the cliff with Sloth Cat in his, in his Lincoln Town car. Um, Lauren's pitiful. He needs just a reset. There's no turning this around. Just, yeah, just fall, just, 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 just fall down like, the, the, the ditch, fall in the ditch, you know, wreck the car. Hope you survive, get out, and just reset. Lauren needs to do what I used to do back in the day when I would read Choose Your Own Adventures, and I would keep my finger in the page so that if the choice I made was was a fuck-up, I could go back without having to start the book over. That's what Lauren should have did with his life. Oh, no, you was cheating. Well, I, like I said, I think in all the in all the hundred million multiverses, that uh, in each one of them, Lauren ended up at that sting house. <laughs> like every every different variation, Doctor Strange done looked into every variation, and every variation, Lauren gets arrested on his thirty seventh <laughs> gets arrested on his thirty seventh birthday. <laughs> so and then Doctor Strange just said, "Hey, <laughs> this is the only way. This is <laughs> like this is oh, the only no. way. Oh no, it's a no for me, dog." <laughs> <laughs> uh all right so uh guys um a, a reminder we are the fastest growing monday related negro centric urban based uh lorn live stream to be banned in russia and why are we banned in russia for one reason you were the wrench moderator that's what the wrenches mean right moderator wrench moderator Wrench moderator, you showed me right there that you were the wrench moderator. But guess what? But you guess. See, but I guess always told what? my mama I will make Black history. And now and, you are. And this is in that. This is it. <laughs> this, 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 this is, is it. it. You've made. You've, you've <laughs> made it. You've made it. Uh, and then uh, another reminder, guys, that as always, this stream is brought to you by Step Up. Before we get to call 68, I believe, guys, step up or step off. Sometimes even the most alpha man needs a helping hand. The lone wolf searches for a pack, longing for something more. Because in a world full of betas, we need something to separate the men from the boys. 
a feral scent to tell the ladies, you don't just know the score, you invented the game. It smells like bacon and a basketball. That's good, right? It's not a scent made for a woman. But it's a scent made for women. You dig? What's it gonna be, Playboy? You can either step up or step off. The choice is yours. Right, right on. on. <laughs> I liked it. I thought I thought I thought Shit. that sounded I thought that sounded really good. Amazing as always. And uh and yeah, Woman Month is starting is starting uh next next in just a few days here. So hopefully by my stream with TLI and uh the great Bapsby will be able to debut Step Up Woman, the 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 commercial that you myself and and honest uh put together last week. Oh, you mean uh the commercial you tricked me into howling like a wolf? Yes, <laughs> you guys both howled like wolves, but uh... <laughs> All right, so we are moving on to call Casey, episode 68. I'm not. Oh, it looks like Alex Jones is back on this one. Getting a vaccine? No. Come on. Right on. Hi, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I just called you, so. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find my headset. And I forgot I had it on the charger in the kitchen. So I was looking all over for it <laughs> until I realized that. I finally got it. Just as soon as I put it on my head and clicked the button, you hung out. Yeah, who's Brittany? I'm streaming with uh, TLI and the Great Babsby this, this Thursday at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific. Oh, I was like, shit. So, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What was the thing you had to say? Sue's coming have... back. Sue's coming back. Oh. Uh. She's still waiting. <laughs> I don't know why, because but that just reminded guys. me of um, the commercial when the guy's doing, he's selling ribs and giving foot massages. What are you talking about? <laughs> that comment, that Lucas Collins comment. Lucas comment that my tagline is I'm great at sucking feet and stroking meat. I mean, yeah. Lucas, first of all, <laughs> that's a, that is a beautiful <laughs> tagline uh, for the Illuminati, <laughs> for the Illuminati um, but I don't know what you're talking about, Slot Cat. I don't know. You don't you're know what about. I'm talking about. I, you know, what? I don't <laughs> exclusively watch BET, so maybe we just see different commercials. He's selling ribs and giving foot rubs out in the same place. It's just, it's just a weird combination. Slot Cat, is this something yeah. that you were doing? No, uh, I knew you were giving prostate. Hold on, did you or did you not have a van that you were giving prostate exams behind that Seven Eleven before you got caught? Yes or no? Now look, they didn't <laughs> inform me of any code and and, and whatnot. You know, oh, so, I so now I anything. now I need a license to be a proctologist. <laughs> now I need a license to put my finger up an ass. Well, you got to talk to a couple women, a couple women who I don't do that. Well, I had no issue with it, Your Honor. D exactly. So I that's was confused. confused. That's oh, why. Why I, why that's I was being held up. And I guess the, she she still tested positive yesterday. So she's still not back in Canada. No. Oh, and I guess she can't wait. Uh, she, she can't stay in in the airport hotel anymore for free. So um, she was able to get a flight back. To Bangor International Airport for like ninety dollars. Why is she coming back if she's sick? Because she still has to wait ten days. So 
if she wants to put the final nail in your mom's coffin. But no, she's not going going to be over at, at the mom's. Uh, so you emailed Mr. Jones. I did. Did you read him? Read the emails. Um, no. Go ahead and go ahead and read him right now. Yeah. I couldn't believe this guy's answers. His response. Uh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you get, why would you be talking to him? That's the real question. <clears throat> Your unproven claim has quite possibly caused hundreds or thousands of deaths and COVID sicknesses to those that are for some unknown reason. What does this last line mean? Thanks for your attention to this email and stick to ancient bones, not present day lies for attention. Where did he hear that? What? Eight. <laughs> where, did, where did you he? Because that's not some shit he came up with on his own. Ancient bones, what? Lauren, tell him stick stick to ancient bones, not present day lies for attention. Oh, that, that's the, yeah, that sounds like a like a really old person saying or something. It, it's like some shit he got from a book. That whatever that whatever the story he stole most of taken abroad from, it probably had this line in there. Gullible to your destructive desire to bring attention to yourself. So you're saying I'm gullible? No, not you. Some people are some people are gullible to believe people for any reason. I'm not saying you're gullible. I'm saying you believe a certain way. That's fine to believe a certain way. Well, I believe him. Okay, we'll see how much more you believe him when you hear his response. What did he say back? You get that in your email, too. And baby, when some when people say... I just, I love that. Uh, <laughs> I, love, I love that Lord. I love that Lord wrote this to a person. If you could only step outside of your body and read the crap that you just wrote, you would be able to see how stupid you sound and look. And then the next line, first of all, dumb, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> look here, doo doo head. The vaccine shot doesn't get put in your forearm. It gets put in your bicep area. That's thing one. Secondly, you're preaching about shit that you're making up as you go to anyone that will listen for the sake of attention and more than likely paying some desperate people to say they have found microchips in their arm. Don't claim to be Christian when your intent is to find a way to kill people by freedom of speech. And if you have a team of lawyers that are willing to represent someone as dumb as you, which I don't believe that you do, then they would look like fools trying to defend you and probably lose their license to practice law. Sincerely, Aging bald pedophile, Cornville, Maine. <laughs> it's also like gullible. It doesn't mean the gullible on everything. It's something. It's I'm gullible on some things. I'm actually gullible to a lot of things. So <laughs> gullible I was to believe that Sue didn't post anything on YouTube. Lauren is gullible on life. What about his response yeah, is stupid? Uh oh. Did you read it? Yeah. Then Alex Jones fires back with an angry retort. First of all, dum dum, the vaccine enters your bloodstream carrying the microchip, and it is slightly larger than a blood cell, therefore getting lodged in any part of the body. Could be a forearm, a calf, your wrist, bicep, etc. By the way, it sounds. It, I think your microchip might have gotten lodged in your brain. Boom! Alex Jones with a microchip and brain blast to Lorne. Secondly. Everything else you said isn't based in reality. I am a Christian, and I do have a team of lawyers who will sue you for defamation of character if I ask them to. Whether you believe that or not is irrelevant. 
So do some research. You can go to my YouTube channel to learn more. Then be gone from me, Satan worshiper, or else suffer the consequences. Alice Jones. I mean, I'm say I'm gonna say that Alex's uh, retort was a little bit more fiery than than Lauren's. I think Alex won this round. Let's chop. That's one for uh for Alex Jones. Yeah, Alex, Alex won that one hands. Yeah, down. Alex took that. Alex took that one. You're an atheist. Mm-hmm. You're, yeah. See what he's saying? Yeah, but I'm, I'm not talking about his religious beliefs. I'm talking about his proof that the COVID vaccine has a microchip. Where is his proof? I saw it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I told you that already. You saw it on YouTube. How did you see it on YouTube, though? <laughs> these, these, these emails. I just, want to, I just want to remind you guys: this, this is weeks before Christmas, twenty twenty one. Lauren should be in the holiday spirit, not out here bothering Alex Jones. Blow dum dum. What does that mean? Blow dum dum. You don't have any character, <laughs> and you're full of shit. Double exclamation points. Boom boom. Alex Jones. A day later. You are a misinformed, homosexual, devil-worshipping neo-Nazi. When you finally do the research, don't come crawling to me for advice. I'll pray for you. Oh, Alex. Uh. Alex with a forehand smash right back to Lauren's feet. He had no he had no, no chance he was going to return. No chance. That's, no that's, chance. Two out of, that's two out of three falls. That's, right two, out of, that's, that's two. Lose at least town. That's Lose at least town. It's time for Lauren to go. Um, there's a play button, and you click play, and like a video goes. Then what? Of what? Of proof. What's happening on the of, video? Of the like? evidence. Yeah, but what's happening on it? I I can't go on YouTube. I, mean, <laughs> uh, I can't go on YouTube to see it. He has this woman and this man, and they're scanning their arms with a metal detector. And then there's x-rays that show the microchip in their skin. Uh, why don't you take this? Uh, why don't you take this one? I'll, I'll do the Lauren and you can read for Alex Jones. Blow, bitch. Again, double exclamation point. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Mm-hmm. Thy rod and thy staff, they confront me. They come. I mean, me. comfort me. No, they confront <laughs> you. No, they. they no, no, your, your rod and your staff are confronting you. Go on. You're doing amazing. They, they, they confront me. Okay. <laughs> Down for <laughs> the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou announcest my head. With oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Fuck you, terrorist. Wow. Yeah, he really hit him with that. At the end. Really, he really hit him with that at the end. And you know that's going to piss Lauren off because Lauren's just coming back with like blow bitch. And then he gives him this whole, this, he gives him a sermon. He gives him a sermon and ends it with by calling him a terrorist after calling him a homosexual. And you know there's two things Lauren loves. He loves America and he loves being a heterosexual man. Now, how did Lauren go from this like Chris Chan level email at first to just less and less words? Because <laughs> Alex is pissing him off, so he's rage replying. And and also Alex is just beating him up. Uh it, it, it's it's just he's it's just an onslaught of words for Lauren. So all he can do is resort back to calling someone gay or a bitch or you know a, a minority or whatever he's going to do. Okay, and it's in their forearm. Um, one of them is in the forearm. One of them is like kind of by the shoulder. Okay, the shots aren't given in the forearm. They're only given in the bicep area. Right. If you watch the video, though, he explains why it can be in different parts of your body. It's because the microchip. 
Oh no! All right, we got we got more. We also uh, a donation from Evil McNugnugs. Sorry about that, y'all. I was the one that taught Sloth Cat how to read, and of course, you guys know who Nuggies is. Hi, I'm exactly. Nuggets, and I do things. I talk like this, like my voice is very fake. I have no acting skills yeah. and no talent. Digital mm -hmm. art is not talent because five-year-olds can do the same thing. Be boobop. I'm a robot. I have no talent and sound just like I am acting in an 80s movie. Hmm. Be boobop. Thank you, Nuggies. I'm glad yeah. Nuggets is taking responsibilitrons. <laughs> yes. Oh, <you> know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am as well. And we got some more. We got some more emails here. Uh, so why don't you take Lauren this time? Loser. Queer. Keep dreaming, bitch. Calling me a loser when you were the one who emailed me first. Stupid fucking reptilian devil. I am a warrior of Christ. I hope the vaccine kills you. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the vaccine kills you. Have fun being tracked by the Illuminati. No, guys, it's Illuminati. It's Illuminati. Sucking feet and beating meat since 2021. Serving the greater Cleveland area. Oh, shit. Again, Doc. Serving the greater Cleveland area. Um, have fun being tracked by the Illuminati and having your information on a microchip for the government to keep tabs on you. Suck my dick, queer. And then, sincerely, Alex Jones. Um, it's really broken down. It started off so professionally, and it's it's really broken down now. <laughs> Just... Hey, Lauren, why are you late to work? Oh, I spent the morning arguing with Alex Jones via email. All right, Lauren, you're fired. <laughs> if it's, like, very, very small, and it I goes into your bloodstream, and it, like, travels around. That way, you can't, like, get it surgically removed, because it can be in a different spot at any time. Yeah, it travels. I don't believe him for a minute. Maybe I don't. I believe him for all the minutes. Ooh. I, I wish you wouldn't. I'd, I'd really want some. Maybe you should email me. And have him give you what, whatever proof that he needs or that you need. I have the proof I need. Uh, I know we got some more emails here. So um, I'll, I'll take Lauren this time. Dude, what part of blow do you not understand? Double question mark, double exclamation. Get a life. You stupid fuck, double exclamation point. What part of suck my dick do you not understand? You're an idiot. You are just a fascist Nazi government puppet, and I feel sorry for you. I knew you wouldn't be able to not email me again. You're too fucking stupid. Triple. What? Triple <laughs> exclamation points. I think Lauren might have won this round with the triple exclamation point close. Uh, that's like a triple axle. Uh, so yeah, I think I think this point goes. I think this round goes to Lauren. <laughs> Did he ever ask himself <laughs> like why? Why are you even arg Why are you even talking to this guy? Like why are you arguing with this man? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> because this man is the reason why Lauren's potential future maybe girlfriend believes that there are microchips inside of the... In, what do you not understand? Lauren wants this man to go on TV and say that he, he made it up. That none of it's true. So that Casey will believe Lauren. He he just hates the fact that any guy can tell I guess his girlfriend anything. Yeah. Anyone having an influence. Hey, it would, yeah, it wouldn't matter. It could be her parent. Yeah, if, if she was close with her dad and her dad was like, I don't think you should move to Cornville or I think you should take this movie role... Lauren would hate that. He doesn't want anyone else having influence over his fucking woman. I love these emails between Lauren and Alex Jones, though. These are amazing. Fucking saw it in the video. You saw it on the video. I have him show you some paperwork. He has it all on the video. He goes through all of it. I don't believe in 
I really. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. Suck. All right, we got more. We got more. Can you uh, can you take Lauren? Mm-hmm. Wait, the I think the first one. Okay, I think, yeah, okay. You emailed me, you fucking dumb bitch. Holy shit, you are retarded. I'm using this entire message thread on my next YouTube video to show how goddamn retarded the vaccine is making citizens of America. You have royally fucked up. I'm going to track your IP. Oh, so it's Alex Jones that was out there tracking IP address. I need to pass that on to someone. I'm going to track your IP address and find out where you live. Huge mistake, bud. Fuck off, retard. I will never back down from a Satanist. If you were any type of Christian, then you would learn... Uh, I can't see that. The uh, comment is in the... Oh, what's in the... Oh, oh sorry. Let me, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me... Let me... If you were any type of Christian, then you would learn how to act toward others. Don't preach Christianity when you're trying to kill people. That's a good point. That's a real, another good point. Well, you're the one with a microchip in your body, not me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a microchip in my body either. <laughs> so you're saying you didn't get the vaccine? No, I got the vaccine. I didn't get a microchip. Oh, so you haven't. No, I did not. Uh, what are they going to do? Make up billions of uh, microchips? Yeah. Yeah. No. They made billions of vaccines. Why wouldn't they make billions of microchips? We're talking about the stuff being done all around the world. It's not just in the yeah. United States. Yeah, people in Sweden, they all have the microchip. I don't believe that. Oh wait, we had another screenshot there, and I missed it. You go, you go ahead and take Alex Jones. It took me less than a minute to figure out you live in New England based off of your IP address. Once I share this with my people on my website, I'm sure one of them will be able to triangulate your exact location. Fuck you, devil. You sound. I I like this um this like urban this urban slang, Alex Jones. You sound like. <laughs> <a mother. laughs> I like I like this multiverse version of Alex Jones. <laughs> Fuck you, white devil. I'm a tap cases sweet ass, and ain't nothing you can do about it, cracker. And then, yeah. <laughs> Go on, call me the N word. I just get stronger from it. I'm Alex fucking Jones, and I'm blacker than a thousand midnights. Uh, for someone that is so smart, you're extremely stupid. You aren't smart at all. <laughs> just extremely stupid. Alex, I don't believe that. Where's your proof? Um, with my proof, I, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's that's the scientists. They're the ones who made the vaccine. What scientists are you talking to? All right, here we got we got another one. Uh, I'll read as uh, I'll read as Lauren this time. I'm going to expand my horizons a little and let you explain to me about this microchip. The only reason I'm going to see what you have to say is because of a close friend. If I find anything that makes sense in that makes sense in then just maybe I'll do some rethinking on it. If not, I'm just not gonna have anything to do with you. I don't get a kick out of going back and forth arguing and name calling crap. So enlighten me and explain the microchip a little for that. Yeah, Lauren, you sound really smart with <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Alex Jones has nothing better to do but sit around and argue with the Lord and try and convince him. Anyone who hasn't got anyone who has an issue and doesn't believe uh, anything that uh, you know about the just email Alex Jones directly. He will spend all day just going back and forth with you name calling, and he doesn't want to name call go back all all day with uh, Alex Jones, but he would with uh, with the captain. Here are some videos you need to watch. Sweden is already admitting to macro chipping 
their citizens. And here is another video showing the development of liquid vaccines that carry the microchip as well as documented evidence of people with microchips in their body after getting vaccinated. Wow. You can track where your you can track where yours is located in your body by using a magnet or metal detector. Godspeed. A magnet or a metal detector? <laughs> Who's going to put a metal detector to the body? Lord running a metal detector all over his body trying to find the microchip. Look at Pfizer and, and Moderna and, mm -hmm. and Johnson & Johnson. Those are the ones that made the vaccine. vaccine companies. Where's your proof? He just, yeah, he just gave us the vaccine. Proof. I have my proof. Those are vaccine companies. Those are they so I love this part because this is when Lauren is going to try and use some uh, some reverse psychology and try and get him to... Lauren wants to meet him in person. I think Lauren wants to fight Alex Jones right here. Because, just, just I mean, you know, Lauren, Lauren couldn't watch those videos. I, Lauren's not even allowed to go on YouTube, right? So Lauren pretended he saw those videos, and then he goes... I was told that you do seminars. Do you have any scheduled for Maine? And then another reply. Okay, I'm starting to believe some of what you're saying, but I just got an email from one of your followers telling me that telling me that they would find me unless you want to see your followers going to jail. You need to tell them to keep their threats to themselves. My followers have their own free will. I cannot tell them what to do. Now do like an evil laugh. <laughs> Like more evil, like an evil black guy laugh. An uh, evil black guy laugh? I yeah. Don't... Okay. Uh... Just any laugh that you would do. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am an evil black guy. <laughs> I'm an evil black guy. It's over for you now, yeah. buddy. <laughs> They don't work for the government. They're not going to come out and say, yeah, there's a microchip in it. They're not going to put microchips in their vaccines just for the government. What? I mean, they, yeah, they would. They would. No, the government probably well, paid them a billion dollars. No, they would not. Where's your proof? Every you have no have, proof. Every country would have to pay me, would have to help pay these companies to do that. Yeah. Because these vaccines have gone through all the whole world, not just the United States. I know. So they pay them. All right. If you believe it's in their best interest, to, if you believe it's in their best interest to know what is in the vaccines, then you should believe they should know that it's in their best interest to know not to make threats. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if you believe it's in their best interest to know what is in the vaccines, then you should believe they should know that it's in their best interest to know not to make threats to people. Dot, 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 dot. Especially over email. Just think about this. If you're in jail, that will be one less follower. Fo if they're in jail, that will be one less follower following you because they won't be free to do so. They will be in a jail cell where they won't be able to follow you for a long time. And if that time is long enough, that they may never follow you again. If you're not noticing what I'm saying, it's me trying to help you keep your followers safe from jail and help you keep your followers. Back to my question I had. I heard that you do seminars. Do you ever do any in Maine? If so, when is your next one? And I'm only thinking this part in my head. But I'd love to meet you and beat the shit out of you like the country boy I am. Sincerely, Lorne Duke Armstrong. I will not take away my father's freedom of speech. I will be hosting a seminar at the Boston Convention Center January 15th. That is the nearest one to Maine. Well, you're going to need to trot your ass a little closer to Lauren for that. I don't believe that. Okay, where is your proof? I've asked like six times. You have no proof. Good three companies did. They can provide all kinds of proof. Yep. I'm sure there's going to be a video on the, on the... But you're the one saying you don't believe it. I want to know what your proof is. 
<laughs> I'm sure there's going to be video. Where's on, your uh, proof? You, I am your I am proof. You right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm sure there's going to be a video about the vaccines because I know they've heard this guy claiming. They had to have heard Where's this guy your proof that you saw that proves there's not a, a microchip? I can't go on YouTube, honey. Where's your proof? You can go everywhere else, though. You don't have to watch a YouTube video. I'm wait, 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 wait. All right, so the next one I didn't read because it's it, now they're starting to, like, they're kind of getting along, and they discuss where the next seminar in California is going to be because Lauren is going to offer this up to Casey, right? Lauren's doing a okay. reason. Something, something um, Casey, as a follower, would probably already know about. Mm-hmm. And if not, would be able to find that information in 10 seconds because Casey's not banned from the Internet like Lauren. Uh, but but right here, they, they discuss, so it's going to be in California in, in December, and Lauren, okay, what time does it start? Alex Jones, 11.30 a.m., lunch will be provided. And then Lauren Lauren gets quippy. Lauren hits back with the, with the joke. Okay, thanks. I'll take Hawaiian pizza. LOL. Lauren really has nothing else to do in his life. He really doesn't. Because this is... This is sad. If this was a real... Like, if this was... <laughs> you, you, you would just be laughing at this man. Okay, I'll take a Hawaiian pizza... I mean, and then a callback to pizza, which is what was talked about during your during your tea cap arrest. Lauren should never want to eat or talk about pizza ever again. I weren't bringing any pizza. And you're saying that there's no microchip in it. I want to know where your proof is that proves that. It's in my arm. I don't have a microchip in my body. It's in my heart where it is. Okay, so you have no proof. Go on, the, go on Moderna and, and Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson. On the They're not going to come out and say they have microchips in them. That's the whole well, point. <laughs> oh, Casey. They don't have microchips in them. Oh. I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this. You don't have any I proof. Don't. Any I have I don't all the proof. Don't. You have no proof, so... You're not, you're not so gonna you agree with proof. I'm not getting a vaccine. You're not going to agree with me on it anyway. Because you, you believe this guy. Well, because he has meanwhile, proof. Meanwhile, this guy's getting all kinds of attention that yep. he wants drawn to him. And killing you're people. Just cheap. Just because he wants you're that sheep. attention. Huh? You're a sheep. I'm a sheep. Yeah. I'm a sheep. We mean even I'm a sheep. You just follow the leader. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm the one not following the leader. You're following I'm this guy. Evidence. You're following this guy for not blindly. He has proof. You're just believing you whatever you think in your head. You have no proof. You're following this guy for for what he put on on the YouTube video. Mm-hmm. Right. That, that more than likely he paid these other people to make look like they had a microchip in their skin. You don't know that. Do you know that? Yeah, because I saw it with my eyes. Okay. And you work in an industry with cameras, and you know how stuff can be edited. See what I'm saying? No, I'm not. I don't even care what you have to say until you provide me proof. I'm just not even going to listen to you. Baby, come on! Don't don't be getting mad at me. You trust the government and big pharma. I no, I don't trust the government either. Hmm. But I do trust the vaccine. Don't be getting mad at me. I'm not mad at you for being stupid. Oh, Casey. <laughs> uh, that's not nice. Well, you're stupid. You're a stupid cheat. <coughs> the government's pushing the vaccine. They're mis- oh, yeah. telling everyone to get it. Okay, and what's so this guy doing? That's with the, the vaccine companies. So what's this guy doing? They want the He's microchip. Cool. He's pushing people to not get the vaccine so he can kill people. He's trying to save lives. So he can kill people and get attention on himself. No. 
He's yeah. saving the world. How is he saving the world? Luna is old enough to know that that no matter what side of something that you're on, that there is going to be someone who who disagrees, who sees things from the other from the other side, whether he believes that's politically motivated or financially motivated, whatever the case may be. There are always going to be people with opinions out there that differ from yours, and it's just crazy that he re- he's really taking this as as not a difference of two people. Like, hey, Casey, it sounds like we have really different ideas on 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 COVID or, or whatever just in general we just have really different ideas he's taking it as this is some sort of love triangle it's a it's a fight between him and alex to see who's gonna win her over to her seeing their way on on COVID. and like he thinks like a a kid but like a really stupid kid yeah like like a kid will eventually see that you know okay whatever but he just he just won't let it go you just, you know Lorne is that kid who, if you were playing dodgeball and it was his ball, he brought the soccer ball and you guys were playing dodgeball and you hit him and he was out, he would say, well, I, I'm not out because it's my ball. And you would say, no, you're out. So he would want to take his ball and go home. That's Lorne. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he hates his um, siblings because they probably beat him up as a kid for being a baby all the time. I, see, I don't think they beat him up enough. He probably got beat up, but just not enough. I think mom protected him because he yeah, like here yeah. he'll get yeah, he beat up. Like, he'll go to mom, and she would and be like, her leg. You, "You can't, you can't beat your brother. You stop beating your brother. He is so great." I go over that lawn and and, and play <laughs> with your truck. Just go, on, <laughs> go, on, go on over there. Eat your blueberry pie. <laughs> Sitting in my chair, watching my stories. <laughs> You want a hot dog? Go ahead, reach in the refrigerator, get you one of those hot dogs right out the fridge. <laughs> no <laughs> need to cook it. <laughs> You're making your own dinner. You're getting something they don't need. There's a deadly virus out there. How is he saving the world? By preventing people from getting microchips in them. Who's the one with COVID? Exactly. And if I didn't have the vaccine, how, how much alive exactly. do you think I'd be? You're the one with COVID. I don't have COVID. Alex Jones doesn't have COVID. Everyone I know who's not vaccinated has never had COVID. You and yeah, your whole you family want... are dying right now, and you have vaccines. <laughs> you and your you. whole family are dying. Not dying <laughs> and we'll be back. Uh, well, we're... Your mother. Okay, why don't you YouTube videos of people that have not gotten the vaccine? There are YouTube videos on the, the people have put out for that. How do you know? You can't go on YouTube. No, but I've seen it on the news. News? I watch the news a lot. Fake news. No, I watch CBS news. Oh, even worse. Why is that worse? It's like the best news in the world. According to CBS, liberals. <laughs> it's the best news in the world. It says it at the beginning. It at the beginning. Casey, what is wrong? Right, right in the beginning of their news, not only do they have a, a, a Doppler radar eight thousand, but it says that they touch on stories that the other channels are are scared to report on. Casey, it says they're ranked number one in the tri-state area. Casey, what do you mean? You sound stupid right now. It's Channel 8. What? CBS? What? Casey, come on. Mainstream news. They lie to you all day. But go ahead. Do whatever vaccines and microchips you want. They lie all the time. Baby, go on YouTube and look, and look at the people that have, have not gotten the vaccine and have left videos while they're sick. Okay, what the videos? Give me a video to look at. Um, I don't know. I don't know the names of the videos. Exactly. You, know, you don't know what up, you're talking about. Just, just look. I look think it's felt on videos. Look up videos of, yeah. of people that of unvaccinated people that okay. are in the hospital for COVID. Yeah, oh, I already right. saw the guy I need. Well, if you're gonna look up something for this guy, 
why not look up something that somebody that has been that has not those had those are just stories. Alex has proof. I need evidence. Why not Any look up a video? Prove- video. What? Baby. Why not look up a video of somebody that is not that believes the same way as you? And see what they have to say on, on the video after they've gotten COVID. The mainstream news probably them for those stories. Okay, well, I'm not even saying news. Look up on YouTube videos. <laughs> what videos? Just look up a video that proves we right, Casey. Yeah, What's wrong with you? Just... And Lorna <laughs> believe that there could be propaganda on either side that just because someone uploads something doesn't mean there's some you know political action of the committee or or there there's there's some motive behind it and and yes Lauren you can you can go on YouTube and you can find people who will support your argument you will find people who will argue against against you, you and you will find people who who will land in the middle that's that's the, two people can read the same Bible and come to very different conclusions on it this is like me trying to argue with Vex why you know like why she shouldn't like chick-fil-a and she should eat at kfc because of these reasons that that i believe it's pointless it's so fucking pointless just move on realize this isn't the relationship for you and move on instead of having spending all day having an argument with alex i'm sorry several days having an argument with alex jones about his beliefs on something that he's apparently strongly believes in and so you're gonna have an argument with him and call him names and hope to change his mind only so that your potential maybe one day girlfriend will see eye to eye with you and you can and you can notch this win. Remember when I y'all you remember though I was the one who told you that you needed to get the Alex Jones said you didn't need to fucking get it. He just wants brownie points. That's all it is. Well, I'm sorry to let you know, Wes, but you and Vex are wrong. Popeyes. Popeyes. <laughs> Popeyes. <laughs> Not churches. If you're a person who likes churches chicken, I don't think anyone likes churches chicken. We are not friends. Yeah, I don't think anyone like anyone actually likes churches chicken. But it was it was a thing. It was a thing in a in Oceanside. I know that. And some people went there. The video of, of a you person find a video that be- of saying anything. Find a video of a person that believes the same way that you do, and see what they have to say after they've gotten the vaccine or after they've gotten sick. Bo, Bojangles is tops. Casey, stop you acting dumb. Saying, anyone can make a video of saying anything they want. I only exactly. believe things are proof. Alex Jones has proof. He has documents. He has people there who are saying their story about how they have a microchip. They got We've x-rays, metal detectors. So he has proof. You're asking me to look up a video of someone I don't know who's just going to say a story with no evidence. And he has money to pay these people to say the stuff. He's a hero. Documents can be be made up. Stories can be made up. Anything can be made up. But I believe them. Stop. How hard is that? I wish you believed me. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I wish you believed me. I, don't know I, I just wish you would just believe me. I don't know. I don't believe you about 70% of the things you say. Oh, that means she believes 30% oh, though. What? Like 70% of the things you say, I don't believe. Oof. Why? I'm giving my email to somebody. Huh? See? You gave my email away when you said I should trust you and believe you. And look where that got me. Wow, you're really attacking me tonight, huh? Yeah. Not really fair. No. Because I don't believe Alex Jones. That's it. You're attacking me and you're attacking Alex. Yeah, Lauren, it's not because you're just attacking her beliefs and telling how stupid she is and, and demanding that she finds evidence to back up your theory. It's because of you attacking Alex Jones. You're absolutely right. You are, once again, Lauren, you are, you are correct. She's putting that Alex uh, zone right there in between them. The, she's in a fucking Alex zone frenzy. 
It's just Alex. Alex. It's like she has an Alex fetish. Yeah, and Alex. Just, on the no, Alex. 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 It's like those people who are infatuated for genies, but replace genies with Alex fucking Jones. Alex Genie Jones. <laughs> I think that might be his middle name. Genie Jones. Genie Jones. Am I attacking Alex? Yeah, I am. The reason I'm attacking him is because I care about you. I care about me, too. That's why I'm not getting vaccinated, and that's why I'm siding with Alex Jones. You don't need to be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I pity you. I have no idea why. He pities the fool. Because he or she that believes the news and now has a (laughs) body. Look at you talking right now. All sick. That's a microchip <laughs> coughing. Yeah, I'm, I'm coughing. If I didn't have the vaccine, if I didn't have the if I didn't have the vaccine, I'd probably be close to dead. See? Yeah, now you got no, nothing. Your proof. You have no proof. So you just said probably. You don't know that. You don't know that I wouldn't. And you what don't know that mom? you would. What about mom? She, that uh, argument she, had is relevant. A, she had pneumonia and COVID. She's been vaccinated. Do you think she'd be uh, able to be, uh, be coming out of the hospital tomorrow if she wasn't vaccinated? Probably. Because the vaccine doesn't do anything. So if she's coming out tomorrow, because her immune system did it. No vaccine. I told them, I told them anything, anything happens to you, that I am going to let us, let your family know Uh-oh. exactly where they need to go, who to sue. No, my family all believes them anyways, too. If anything happens to you, they're probably not going to believe them. There's that word probably again. Yeah, there's that word probably. I know I use that word probably. Yeah, you say probably when you have no evidence. Well, my someone... family supports him, and I support him, and I stand with Alex Jones. And I will never get vaccinated for anything, ever. When some guy on fucking YouTube fucks with people I care about, I, I tend to get a little, a little upset about it. He's not fucking with me, so don't be mad at him. Well, I am mad at him. He's the only one being honest with me and the world. Mm, so God I bless America it. and God bless Alex Jones. Oh, that hey, you don't believe in God, remember? It's just a saying. All right, let's not be upset with each other. I don't think she I'm not upset. upset. I don't think she gives a shit. Okay, well, I was never what? upset. <laughs> Why you were too? You were getting mad. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> you, no, I'm not you mad at you. Though. I never was. Casey's upset, just, Casey. Casey's just like, yeah, I don't care. You're a fucking moron. All right, well, let's calm down, honey. Let's let's not be so aggressive here. Let's, remember, we love each other. <laughs> well, you sure sounded like it when you started attacking me. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and that was the end of uh of call 68 we're coming up on our our final call of the night which is call 69 and then we have a casey bonus clip right right after that um Man, i know somebody that i love this call called 69 oh oh my god you're right 69 <laughs> groovy dollars uh, and one 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 day we'll have to play the rocket fuel, the origination, the the original rocket fuel malt liquor. 
commercials from uh, from news radio by the amazing Phil Hartman, where the where Rocket Fuel came from. Uh, but maybe maybe next time we'll do that. Maybe when we have here to party on uh, next week. Did I tell you that here to party is going to be on next week? Did I say that already? I'm pretty hot. Yeah, you, you you told me that. Okay, you might not be here, but here to party will. Maybe by that point, TLI's lawyers will uh. We'll have his two percent Nigerian Nigerian <laughs> ass <laughs> on, on Mo Negroes. And he'll show up just like uh Prince Hakeem. Yeah, oh I would love it. <laughs> would Slick him and Slick show up. Uh and then uh guys, I don't know if you, we are getting closer to April. And as I promised Reborn, I uh, am gonna have him deported, obviously, very soon back to Canada where he belongs. Uh for anyone who does not remember reborn financial backer of step up body spray uh had this to say and then there will be more coming there's going to be a there will be a, a program coming out about it soon but reborn had this to say when asked about step up and the problems that it was causing in the urban communities hi i'm reborn armstrong i dropped the armstrong but inventor and sole owner of step up body spray i am a rich man because i <laughs> cut corners <laughs> Okay, I'm a rich man because I cut corners and target my product to an urban market. Also, I'm from Canada. Sorry, not sorry. Damn, playa, what a sneaky thing to do. Do you care about the birth effects? Don't you care about the children? Nope. Nope, that's what he said. Uh, so, I mean, you can tell, <laughs> you, can, you can tell Reboard... Reborn didn't care at all. And then, guys, I just days later, just days later, what does Reborn do? Does he reformulate? Uh, does he fix the problems that are being caused? No, he comes out with step up white people. Uh, it, it's just a complete pivot to step up white folks. Step up or step off with step up men's body spray sold only in gas stations. Smells like pork and leather whenever we're together. Causes birth defects and auto wrecks. Expires never. Step up for step up. Wow. So yeah, be watching out for that. Uh, I because I'm gonna. It's gonna take all of us to get reborn sent back to Canada. I can't do it on my own. It's, it's just like it's just like what what something what a Canadian would do. It's, it's exactly like what, what do, you know? it's exactly what a Canadian. This is why the Montreal screw job had to happen. It had to have Brett screwed Brett. Uh, reborn screwed reborn, and I want you guys to I want you guys to remember that as a, as I live stream reborn being taken back by Canadian Mounties uh, on horseback right over that yellow border um we'll, we'll do that together so now we are on to our final call of the night KC episode 69 followed by a bonus clip uh also on the Blue Boy channel can you hear me hello Kay- there. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay. I was calling you on the other line. I don't know why you couldn't hear me before. I brought the phone outside and everything. Wow. Uh, can you still hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. All right. So why are you being so mad at me? I'm being mad. You texted me. Let me look at it again. Huh? You waited 20 minutes before acting like a little bitch again. I waited. A... You said, are you Casey. going to call me? I was Casey, in the server. You're being pissed off at me because it's Alex Jones. I don't agree with what he says and everything he says. The only reason I'm listening to, to anything that he's saying is because of you. I'm trying to support you, Anna, on what you believe in. I don't believe in everything this guy says. I'm not going to. But if I don't believe in him, why are you going to be pissed off at me? I'm not, I'm not going to treat this guy like a god. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. 
I'm pissed. You gave me 20 minutes. You, I said, yeah, I'm done working. You said, are you going to call? You didn't give it 20 minutes before you said, whatever, I'll be damned if I'll be put second to some piece of shit that wants to think he's God. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it took 25 you minutes just, just to answer people? a few home yet. And you all your messages you, just bitching and bitching and bitching. Well, you've been acting pissed off at me all day. What do you want me to do? Piss her off I more, was fine. Obviously. You told me about the Alex Jones seminar. I said I was going to go, and you texted all this bullshit about, oh, your mom's going to die or some shit. I don't even know what you were no. saying. Then you mentioned Casey. I told you never talk about him. Casey, I told you I was gonna be pissed. Told you I was gonna be pissed if put your mom second to Alex Jones. It's none of your business. You, what the fuck? What? Oh shit! I'm the one that I'm the one that got the information. <laughs> it's none of your business. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm the one that got the bitch. I got that information direct from Alex Jones. I didn't go to the website. I didn't call an 800 toll free number. I went to the source and I said, Alex Jones, when's your next seminar? And he told me, and I passed the information on you, and you're acting like this? No, 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 Casey. I'm fine. You want to put me behind Alex Jones? I can handle it. I'm a man. You're going to put your mom behind Alex Jones? Nah, that's when I have an issue. That's when we're done. Well, I'm not going to stand for this shit. He's a false prophet, Casey. <laughs> Man is that man is going to hell, Casey? Is that where you intend to follow him? Because I want to live. He's not even a drift king, Casey. He don't come know on, nothing. Casey. Casey, I love you is what it means. That's all he needs to say. That's all he should be saying. Why is that? I'm only got, got the information for you to go to that stupid fucking Boom. thing. That's one point. Okay. Yeah, it is my business. Because of me, you put your mom second. Oh, that's Lauren's fault now. To Alex Jones. My God, you're so fucking dumb. Really? I'm not the one treating Alex Jones like a fucking god, Casey. Your mother should never, ever come second to anyone. You're talking like you even know my mom. No, I don't know your mom, but I do know your mom gave you life. Your mom gave you life, Casey. Yep. Did Alex Jones give you life? <laughs> oh, my God. He That's preaches. Oh, man. He preaches to people like he's a fucking god. And look <laughs> at the way he fucking talks to people when they when they don't agree with him. The guy you is an imbecile. As a nincompoop. Tell him one whole back. You him back. You act like he was harassing you. And you do nothing but defend him. Okay. You what? do nothing but defend him. You, uh, that's all you're doing is defending him. Yep. I don't need to defend him. Like, Are you I'm, I'm not, like, I'm doing everything wrong when he's calling me fucking names and shit. You're calling him They're names literally- too? He literally sounds like Dave Yvonne Eric. <laughs> That's how stupid he sounds. Okay. 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 He's going to be pissed at me because of his behavior. He sounds like Von Eric Casey. <laughs> and this is the thing, too, is that at this point, like, cause I, I can't even imagine how long this troll had been going on at this point. But, like, I know dude, this shit gets exhausting after a week or two weeks. It gets exhausting. And this has been going on for how fucking long? At a certain point, you start, this character becomes a person. And so Blue Boy is exasperated, just fucking exhausted at the amount of, even though it's content, like it's not coming out yet. So you're not even like, you don't even get to enjoy that aspect of it yet. You're just collecting content right now. And the shit is so draining. And at a certain point, you do, you like, like Blue Boy is giving Lauren actual real world advice that, that if Lauren cared to, Lauren could listen to and learn from. But it's just always the same bullshit. You're putting someone else right there. You're believing this other person. You know, no, this is my responsibility because of blank. And we want, it's it's just great. Like nothing, nothing fucking changes. How do he still think Xavier has something to do with anything? <laughs> like, tell, me, 
Like he's supposed to be done with that. Like he was literally told that Emma and all that was not real. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because Xavier Xavier put it all in motion. Without Xavier, without perverted Xavier. justice, Lorne would have just been arrested, you know, on a much smaller sting or, or you know, in a different way. Because Lorne would have been arrested, let, let's be honest, but it wouldn't have been on To Catch a Predator. And so he's always going to, there. He'll just like Nuggies will always be uh, Jesse Xavier. Um, it, L- Xavier will always be the catalyst of what ruined Lorne's life. Even though all the results of his best thinking got him there, got him there uh it, it's 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 never going to be lauren's fault it's xavier xavier that's why i can't you know finish working on this house you can't it's, can't do nothing all xavier xavier. Bullshit. He keeps all ev- bothering him and xavier has nothing better to do than just keep fucking with lauren of all people too just lauren well, lauren west he's evil don't you know this everything his name is oh, evil in it i'm gonna make you my special project and that was it. And then Lauren became a special project. You're acting like a jealous little bitch all day. Well. Not acting like jealous. a jealous. Jealous I don't even know him. He's like a celebrity. I don't even know him personally. I've never talked to him. I'm getting these emails from these fucking people that are treating this asshole like a god. And it pisses me <laughs> off. <laughs> Yeah. Then you go and put your mom. Wait a minute, how, he, how is he? What do you? Wait a minute. Don't email him. Is he? Is he getting emails from other people, or were they like sending him emails as other like Alex Jones fans telling him that Alex Jones is so great? May, uh, maybe, or maybe it's just Lauren lying. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I don't. Who knows? Because those, those, any of those weren't shown. I mean, it's possible, which would which would have been hilarious, but it's also possible. <laughs> That Lauren is just making up these people reaching out to him to to make her think, you know, like, oh, so the people I'm following, these people really are dangerous. Like, what kind of people just reach out to Lauren? I'm, I'm, I obviously I'm following the wrong team here. So it could have been him just making shit up because <laughs> they just know his email address. Because well, Alex Jones gave it out to him on his uh, on his on his AOL. He was giving it out to his followers. <laughs> All right, followers, I got someone free to go after. Order sixty six, Lord Armstrong. Come then. Look at where my mom just was. Look at where my mom just was. What about your mom? My mom just got out of the hospital with Casey. She could have died being in there. I'm going to be pissed off whenever anybody puts their mom second to anybody. Yeah. When you stole your mom's car, right? Your mom should always come first. Because if anything should ever happen to your mom... You'll, you'll kick yourself in the ass so bad because you put that guy second to your mom. Yeah, says the guy who's been walking around his mom not wearing a mask for God knows how long. Your mom's coming first, then you're coming second. I'm gonna tap that sweet ass girl, I reckon. That's what it sounded like, right? He's like, your mom comes first, then you come next, baby. We got to take care of your mom first. So you can't get any of Lauren's sweet dick. That's how it worked, girl. Your mom is gold. And if you can't treat your mom like gold, then I can't tap that sweet ass. So really, the choice, it, the ball's in her court. The ball's in your court, case. So what's it going to be, play girl? Oh. oh. Oh, she can step up? Step off. Wow. Sam. I got my basketball shorts on mom, right now. <laughs> from I didn't care if she had it or not I'm you're, still going to take care of her you're losing them Casey I don't appreciate this guy acting like he's a god well, I don't about appreciate these people that treat him like a god huh why don't you worry about your mom instead of bitching at me all day about how I treat my mom? Because I don't want you treating with putting your mom second to this guy. 
you'd be so mad at yourself if anything were to happen to your mom. And they, but you had to go to that seminar and put your mom after this guy. Okay, well, I'll deal with that if my mom dies in a horrible accident while I'm there at the Alex Jones detention. So I, I pray to God that she don't. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to wish anything bad on your mom. I just don't want you ever regretting doing it. I'm sorry if I seem like an asshole. You are an asshole. Oh. You've been an asshole the past, like, three days. You mean ever since you started in on the Alex Jones stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to be more understanding of the way you believe. When people are treating him like he's a god and he's trying to act like a god, I'm not going to agree with that. Like, quit emailing him. I try to. He's got, he's, he's, he's got his little disciples emailing me. Like I don't get why that <clears throat> you an asshole to me. He, he's got his little disciples emailing me. Okay. Disciples, Casey. I stop emailing them. They, they still, they still email. It's sad. Pathetic. Can <laughs> you not ignore it? I, I started ignoring them today. That last one that I sent you, I was like, that's enough of that crap. I don't listen to somebody emailing me trying to tell me how much of a god some guy is. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like he's starting a cult is what is something that's exactly what Uh-oh. it sounds like. Uh oh. Yeah, I'd probably go join it. Oh, Casey. That's his concern. That's what worries me. That's what worries me. <laughs> that's what I was afraid of. He's, he's a celebrity. I've never heard of the guy before you mentioned him. What? Who's never heard of him? I never clue to who he was. You're more of a celebrity than he is. Well. <laughs> I really want to support what? you on what you believe in. This guy lives in a totally different you universe. Be mad <laughs> me for... You're more of a celebrity what? than he is. The only person that's been thinking about Casey this whole time is you, Lord. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Oh, my God. Hey. Isn't that that girl from that from a couple of episodes of The Catch a Predator many, many, many years ago? <laughs> oh, I think that is. Who's that guy she's standing next to? I don't know. It's Alex Jones something or other. <laughs> come on. Come on, Lord. When I don't believe in, in the same thing. Believe whatever you want. Yep. That doesn't change the fact that you've been acting like an asshole. If you yelled at me that my child is in beliefs, then fuck off. If you have a problem with it, go away. Why you keep telling me go away if I don't believe in Alex Jones? I'm saying if you don't like what I believe in and you're uncomfortable with what I do for work, then fucking go away. <laughs> you, I'm not for you to be around me or talk to me. If what I'm doing upsets you, then block me. I don't care. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I have a serious question. What if instead of Alex Jones, it was Alexis Jones, and she was a super hot female influencer who who had the same beliefs and leanings as Alex Jones, but she also strongly believed that women should be subservient to men, and you know that that women should be submissive, and she taught these things. Would Lauren still have a problem with? Casey following Alexis Jones. I think he would. If if I said she's spending too much time with her. <laughs> she's spending too much time with her. Even if the rest of the message, even if the rest of the message was you need to be subservient to your man, you need to, you know, trust what your man says, you know, beyond anything else and 
and submissiveness is the key to happiness. You think he would still find a way to be upset with with uh well, you're with not that. being that subservient, Casey, and you're spending all your damn time with her. That's true. With Alexis. How are you gonna be subservient <laughs> to me when you're spending all your goddamn time with Alexis fucking Joe? You got Alexis on the brain. <laughs> what I'm doing is so terrible and you hate what I believe. Yep. And you hate what I do for work. Yes, finally. No one, no one has a gun to your head saying to talk to me. I don't hate what you do for work. Ignore the point. Okay. But no, you're I'm not ignoring the point, Casey. I heard you. I understand. About putting my mom second. It's my mom. You don't know her. You don't know you my don't relationship. Know her. No, I don't know, but that's not the point, Casey. You fucking sell. The point is, your mom gave you life. Oh what did this God. guy give you? What did this guy give you? <laughs> for you to put this in, for, you to put for your mom, what did this guy do for you? Nothing. This guy did. Your mother gave you life. Do you see my point in that? The gift no, of I'm life. Just, I'm not even listening anymore. You're not listening to me. I'm listening to you. Mind your own business about my family and how my mom and I to interact with each other. You don't even know if my mom's like mad or anything. You're just being a little bitch for no reason. You said your mom was disappointed. Yeah. My mom doesn't think I'm putting her second to Alex Jones. But you do. You don't even know me or my mom. And yet, for some reason, that's making you mad. I swear, you have like an undiagnosed mental issue. What? Because mom's a gold and Alex Jones is not? Your brain doesn't work right. <laughs> you have an undiagnosed mental issue. Why? Because moms are gold. <laughs> Hold on. Because Lauren had that one loaded up. It's like, I think Lauren flipped to the wrong page in the script. Because that, that, that was not, that probably didn't have the impact you thought it was going to have there, buddy. Why don't you go back a couple pages? Did you see the line you skipped? Because mom's a gold and Alex Jones is not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because mom's a gold and Alex Jones is Jones not. Is it was then that Casey realized I was right all along. <laughs> Moms she are gold. The, she <laughs> cut the Alex Jones out of our lives, finally. And stopped putting him in between us. She moved in that summer, and I became her only fuckboy for the rest of our lives. And that's how Taken Abroad 2 ends. Finally. F yeah. Casey has come home. Yeah, Casey, Casey come home. That's the, that's the it's Taken Abroad 2. Casey come home. Um, Your brain doesn't work right. Yeah, because I put mom's first. My brain doesn't work. I put right. mom's first. Not <laughs> Kayla's first. mom. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? No. That's exactly what it sounded like. Yeah, your brain doesn't work. That's why it sounded like that to you. I mean, I guess he did kind of put. Well, no, because he wanted. Kayla to ask her dad to buy her the thong. So he was, was he putting her mom first by like her skipping the mom and going directly to the dad to ask? Yeah, he, really he, wouldn't, he wouldn't put the mom in that type of position, you know? He wanted to put the dad because then he wanted to put the dad. dad. And the dad would feel special because. Right. Uh, but then Kayla. he hate the dad because he did bought her. And he got dog. to see, he saw the thong. And he got to long. see it first. Exactly. He got to see so. it first. Did he put his fucking hands on it? Well, he put it in the shopping bag. Throw it away. Throw it away. All right, we are going to end uh, with with Casey bonus clip. This um, right before call said we will pick up with call 70, 70, 70, uh, 70 on the next on the next Mo Negroes. Or no, or no, we're going to do something different with uh with 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 here to party with here to party here. But here he's here to party and that'll be that'll be next monday so now let's uh play our bonus clip before we close out i wasn't very involved in the class today why i, didn't, I just i seemed like i was really worn out 
after after you and I get off the phone, I, I slept for a lot. I don't think I woke up till like five thirty. I think I don't remember what time it was that I texted you when I woke up. Did I text you? Bethany class. I text you just as soon as I wake up every morning. Good night, Logan White. Um, uh, one guy failed his polygraph. Mm-hmm. The one I told you about that that went out of state and had got probation probation violation because he went out of state without permission. Oh yeah. He failed his polygraph and he didn't he didn't want to uh, answer any questions of why he failed it. So I poured it on and then you what? I poured the questions on and then. You piece of shit. You have been in this class longer than anyone have failed multiple polygraphs. And 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 when he does fail them, he doesn't he doesn't come oh this is why I failed. He says that they were lying. Or he comes up with an excuse, but he's gonna pour it on someone else. Put him on the spot. What did he say? He's mumbling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Said, well, you must know what happened. You're the one that took the polygraph. Yeah, but Xavier. I said, then why'd you fail it? He said, well, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. I said, all right. Well, what was the question that you failed? Yeah, I failed... Um, I think there's some. This motherfucker did the exact same about. thing. I know. What's he talking about? Like, what like, is he like, talking like, like, about like, right now? Hey, yo, Teach, can I change my seat? This guy's a pedophile. <laughs> this, this guy just oh. failed his polygraph test. Come on, Teach, move me. Move me, teacher. Yo, Teach, move me to the front of the class so I can be away from these pedophiles in the back of the room. Actually, Lauren, you're you're all pedophiles. Yeah, but these guys reek of desperation. <laughs> well, who am I going to tell? Well, it, you know, it doesn't matter because it, it, it doesn't matter. But I'm not supposed. To, if it's about me, then I can then I can tell you anything. But about somebody else, about- I can't. I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to say anything at all. I mean, as far as I told you, it doesn't hurt anything, but. Well, don't that. you not believe in polygraph tests? Huh? Don't you not believe in polygraph tests? Nope, I don't. I don't for specific reasons of anything can happen with your body at any time. Yep. So why were you early in this dude then? Well, because he's he's been on a lying binge. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's, he's been on the live bands, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God da- damn it. Damn it, Peepin' Petey. It's like I don't know what to trust with you anymore. I, clearly it's right, and you tell me it's left. You're eating roast beef, and you tell me it's him. Petey, Petey, no one can believe a, a word you're saying anymore, buddy. Come back to us, Peepin' Petey. Where's the old Peep and Petey? And that's that's what really pissed Lauren off is that Peep and Petey wasn't trying to get back to where he were um, when he was a, when he were on, a better when he were a better person. He's on a lion. <laughs> he's on this man is on a lion bench. <laughs> Sir, you've been in this class for like more than a decade. <laughs> You are on a decade of destruction right now. <laughs> this man is on a he's on a lie. I like how Lord says it like he's a like he's the assistant professor. It's like that episode of The Office where they this the um with the racial sensitivity training from season one. And the whole reason that dude is there is because he needs Michael Scott to sign a form, and but he he makes everyone sign it just not to like point uh to single Michael out. And Michael's like, well, I can't sign that I learn anything i you know i could sign something that i helped teach something today that's lauren lauren is not there to learn lauren is there to help teach these people why they're pedophiles 
Uh, he's just trying to do his job, and they won't let him do it. This man been in that class. He's going to be in that class longer than Undertaker's WrestleMania reign. Wow, it's not a WrestleMania uh, reign, and but he's out of the class now. Didn't he get? Didn't he get kicked out of the class? Well, like he's kicked out, but he's still in it. He's yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's still in it. He just, he just not in the class with other people, <laughs> but he's still in a class. <laughs> It's like homeschool with his mom. <laughs> he, ba- yeah, that's, he basically at homeschool for a pedophile. How you how you do that? <laughs> Lord's got Lord's got Lord has to go to field trips with the other homeschool pedos. I don't even want to go to the zoo. You're gonna go. What if you donned? And he's had had a habit of, of lying. In class, and he doesn't want to be involved like in the class. And that's all he does is mumble throughout the whole class with everything. And he knows he's got to he knows he's got to go back to prison soon because of his probation violation of going out of state. So since then, he's been like literally not involved. So I'll, I'll push him into getting involved. He still mumbles. He does everything he can to not be involved. <laughs> this guy literally described himself. Well, yeah, but it's a, but it's not him, so it's a bad. And then Carlito here with the Wesley Allen most dishonorably discharged from the Coast Guard, all public, right? Yeah, I have to, I have to, uh, I, I have to admit it, um, Car- Carlito Wesley Allen most dishonorably discharged from from the Coast Guard. Uh, that's me. Yeah, Lauren doesn't mumble. That's the difference. Lauren Lauren doesn't mumble. So that's why that other guy is uh, is in the wrong because Lauren speaks clearly when he's when he's giving his full just so many syllables, not full on, not full on mumble. So we do have a uh, we have we do have democracy manifest that we're gonna watch. And then I found the Jones good ass barbecue and foot massage. I figured we close out with that in honor of this being the last uh, Mo Negroes of of Black History Month. Before Woman Month starts uh, next week, and, and w- for Woman Month, we will have some new Step Up Woman Body Spray commercials. So first off, uh, Democracy Manifest, brought to us by the former Blackest Man in Brisbane, Hornville Three Ways, Uncle Percy. Could you just assured me that I could speak? Sit down inside the car. I'm not assuring anything. We're under arrest. Look, I'm under what? I'm under what? 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 What do you think this was? When you have the police, when you have several police officers trying to push you into a car and they tell you you're under arrest, that should it shouldn't be a surprise to you. (laughs) I'm under what? I'm under wait a minute. He said, he, he said it like they just poured a, a flippity <laughs> flop on him, and he's the police chief, and they just sprung. Now he just got, yo, you are surrounded by a cop. You know what you were doing, Uncle Percy. Gentlemen, this <laughs> is Democracy Manifest. Have a look at the headlock here. <laughs> See that chap over there? He's okay. got your hand off my penis. This is the bike who got me on the penis before. Some cups. <laughs> Why did you do this? Some cups. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? <laughs> oh, let's use nice headlocks up. <laughs> oh. But no one has them in a headlock. <laughs> Now once, not once has this man been in the headlock, but he keeps accusing them of putting him in the headlock. So, you know, I've got to be honest with you, sir. I'm not positive that they've actually touched your penis. You've made a lot of false claims so far. <laughs> and and as far as and as far as this meal being succulent, I have no proof of that either. You've, you've over exaggerated things. I feel like this was a nominal Chinese meal, and no one touched your penis, and you haven't been in the headlock. But that's just me. A succulent Chinese meal. Ah, yes. I see that you know your judo well. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir, are Nobody you waiting to be seen by limp penis? Where was the judo, <laughs> Where was the judo at? <laughs> this is a... 
next time I go to a doctor, my doctor for a follow up, this is how I will enter the room. <laughs> my limp penis. Oh wait, no, no, not just. <clears throat> I won't enter with my limp penis, guys. Guys, that was just a bad pause, guys. Receive <laughs> my limp penis. God, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir. Are you waiting to receive my limp penis? <laughs> now uh, get your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Ta-da>! <laughs> How dare you? One cup, look. <laughs> I want to Jones barbecue foot. I want to see that man's interrogation foot. <laughs> <laughs> How is there not? How is there not a one-hour interrogation of that man sitting in a in a in a in an interrogation room somewhere, just talking, just talking about how ridiculous it is, and asking when he gets to return to finish his succulent Chinese meal? All right, and this is a uh, Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage to close out in honor of uh, of Black History Month from Monegros and especially from Hillborn, who wanted to pass on. Uh, happy Black History Month to everyone at Monegro's. Stop! Joe's barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So <laughs> why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're going to make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally fry. Guess what you're going to get? Nothing. If it fits through the dough, I'll put it in the fry. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All our meats are gently tenderized to their optimum deliciousness. We got fine dinosaur meat. Took my money, paid me, paid child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. Once they get your social security number, it's over. Motivated, 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 motivated. So friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot specialists or myself perform my magic? Look at that. Don't they look wonderful? If you really pay me enough, we'll massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Success is the rule down here at Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. So go ahead and give me a call or find us on the worldwide internets at the new website. That's J O N E S Big Ass Truck Rental and Storage.com backslash Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. I like cool enough stuff got cool better personally i think you should have gone with that one did you see that site yet mm, i've seen it i've seen it um lauren no lauren's website yeah i've seen it cool enough stuff dot cool i thought that was pretty amazing got cool just for yeah. <laughs> just for uh what was it tents on one site shoes yeah but, well, but, but, but cool enough no but uh, good enough wait cool enough stuff dot cool that had everything it had footwear it had watches and apparel it had everything it was a one-stop shop you need you got a family to shop for i go to cool cool enough stuff wait cool right cool wait, cool enough stuff dot cool that's where i that is he's stupid man I want to know what he paid for the URL. He, they probably charge him fifty dollars for the URL for each one. You get access to the internet and just went straight to scale. Well, because he's he's got to make that he's got to make that quick money. He's at the point where he knows he's not gonna, it's not gonna happen for him. He's not getting promoted to management somewhere. He's, he doesn't have anything saved, uh, so he's trying to figure. He's got to make a, a quick get quick get rich quick scheme. And so he's going to go to the internet and find him. And, and now they have his information. They'll just keep contacting him and they'll sound better and better. And he'll keep spending money. H-T-M-L. Excuse me, did you call number 52? Did you hear me call number 52? Yep. Uh, and that's a sloth cat. Uh, guys, guys, a reminder, subscribe to join sloth cat's Patreon. We, have, we haven't talked about that once on Mon Negroes, but that is linked in the description. If you enjoy, you know, animations, uh, hilarious animations from from a boy sloth cat, support support him on his Patreon, you guys. Um, sloth cat, anything that that you wanna that you wanna add? What do you have going on? What what's your next thing you're working on? Um, I will be working on 
cartoons. So you're just gonna you're just gonna make me look like an asshole when I'm trying to. <laughs> that's, what that's what we're doing. I mean, that's that's the that's that's what I'm working on. Ca- cartoons, you know. Go go to the Patreon. You get the vote for the next video. <clears throat> that's all you have to say. That's and all I'm, you have to say. Uh, yeah. And you said that before we before we went. You wanted to see. Uh, you wanted to see Lauren Armstrong dance with the black kids uh, against Queen of Spade, right? Yeah, that's that's one of my favorites right there. All right, I love yeah, me some Queen of Spades. Oh, I know you do. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Uh, Lauren versus Queen of Spade in a battle dance on Facebook Live. <laughs> Okay, listen very closely. I have an important announcement. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. Reborn needs to be brought to justice. I love it. Oh, and a little sneak peek of the upcoming uh, ex- ex- expose on on Reborn. Um, you know, this year it's really gonna happen. He's really he's really going away for good. So, Slothcat, did you want to tell everyone? Uh, did you want to give everyone a, a, a good night, a sleep well? Take y'all ass to sleep. Take y'all ass to sleep, and that is direct from uh, from Slothcat. And for me, hopefully, I will see you guys on Thursday when I stream with with TLI and the Great Baps. I might I might sneak in a stream a later a later Lauren stream, or maybe even a Jesse or a Jordan. I don't know. I might sneak in a stream later tomorrow night. But if I don't see you guys, oh wait, hold on, I don't have my thing loaded up first. So hold on before I do this. Um, so if I don't see you guys, sleep well. Fuck all of you, you motherfuckers. Good day, you fucking assholes. Because you can't stop a, a, another guy from touching your fucking pussy when we're together. You you will never be able to. Get your goddamn ass in the ass, ass, ass in the ass, ass, ass in the ass. So, so, so. You gotta get that ass in the ass, ass, ass in the ass, ass, ass in the ass. Get down!
No Just for drama and entertainment And then I say that's not what I meant Cause I hope no one does to you what you did to me I wouldn't wish it upon you No, not anybody And no one can handle what they put me through Glad it happened to me and not you, you. Glad it happened to me and not you. Imagine being called a predator, knowing. I'm Evil Little McNuggets, and I wrote this song all by myself from scratch. From scratch. From scratch. From scratch. I'm a fucking mess right now, kid. Is this all for me and you, or are you gonna put me some more stupid bullshit that I don't want to hear? Build me together, rather have a fun time. Not even my birthday. Oh my god. I'm not Mr. Bean. I've been on a kid. I can't get in trouble for it. I've always loved kids. Just not in that way. A bad person. Son of a bitch. Am I contagious? I'm ready for more boys. Are, 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 are you crying? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not Mr. Bean. I'm, I'm, I'm not fat. How can you say that? My pussy smells like 100%. You're not anyone's boy because you're you literally do not realize you're the predator. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to hear fucking rap shit. I don't like it. Uh, my dicks were very unflattering, unlike yours. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What? I'm the evil little McNuggets, and I and I love it.